हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी कैन डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम सी वन फ्रॉम द लेटेस्ट कोर्ट फोर्सेस ग्लोबल राउंड ट्वेल्व प्रॉब्लम नेम एरिक टैक्टो सो यू कैन रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट बट इन सिंपल टर्म्स यू आर गिवन अ बोर्ड एन बाय एन एंड देन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट स्टेट दैट इट्स लाइक अ टिक टैक्टो गेम इन विच इफ यू फाइंड आउट दैट देर आर थ्री कंजिकेटिव एक्सेस और जीरोज देन लाइक द प्लेयर विल विन और एल्स इट विल लूज there is also diagonal one but in this problem the diagonal one is not considered so whenever you have three consecutive x's like this or zeros like this then in that problem the player like the player who has the x or zero will win but now your problem statement states that you are given a n by n grid and then you don't want that three consecutive x or zeros should occur what i mean by this is as you can see in the example there are three x's which comes together so you don't want that you want to be a draw state how you can come to a draw state a draw state is a one in which there is no consecutive excess in a row or column wise in and it should not be a winning configuration so this is not valid this is not valid this is not valid as you can see this is also not valid these are all valid states so now what you have to do here is in this easy version you are not given zeros but you are only given excess and you have to change some axis such that you have to do at most k by 3 axis and you have to find out the minimum number of changes so that you, like you you should only do this number of changes such that it, like not more than these number of changes such that the board the final board will become uh like a non like a draw state and that's the whole problem now in this problem you just have to understand one thing and then the problem will become like little bit easier for you to understand the problem statement states that you don't want three consecutive axes and the problem in the problem statement you are given a grid n by n and in the n, n by n grid uh what you are actually given is three type of den like denotation uh like a dot means that it is an empty square an x and a zero now what you can see in this first problem there are only axes and zeros I will draw some example. As you can see, this is some axis. This is some axis, and this is some axis. Like see, uh, else everything you just assume that everything is uh, zero. Now what you can see in this problem is because you don't want that three consecutive x should occur in any way. So it means that I should not want that my parity. In parity, there are only two types of elements, like one. Or like zero and one, which means that every number can be denoted by zero or one. But now in this problem, what you can do, you can give like every block in this cell a type of parity, which is e either zero, one, or two. What I mean by this is, if you uh, if you have watched my previous uh, like video, there is one chess video in which we have to find out the parity. In which uh, there is one add code of problem in which we have to move. uh like you have to reach from one state to another point and which you are given some con particular constraints how you can move so in it's like the same problem you have to find out the parity of every point what i mean by parity is as you can see this like square is 0,0 this is as you can see 0,1 this is 0,2 this is 0,3 okay if you add i plus j this is i and j i plus j mod 3 as you can see if you move from left to right the i plus j will be around this number only so what i mean by this is if you add i plus j which is 0, 0 plus 0 mod 3 then the answer will be for the first value it will be 0 then the other value it will be 1 it will be 2 and then it come down to be it come down to 0 again because 0 plus 3 mod 3 is equal to 0 if you go down like this it will be again 1 plus so it will be uh, like 1, 0 so when you do a mod with 3 it will come out to 1 so as you can see every number every block in this will get a parity so as you can see this is 0 1 2 and it, it will continue like this i'll write down some parity in this boxes so as you can see now you can now as you can see every three numbers consecutive numbers have the number which is like 0 1 2 0 1 2 every three numbers has the numbers which, which are either in the row wise or column wise they have the number 0 1 2 0 1 2 and what you want is that any number which has the same parity so you can count out how many numbers has the same parity same parity means that so uh, if you can see that x has x occurs on the zeroth position zeroth means that the parity of zero how like as you can see this is zero this is zero this is zero and so as you can see that this is the parity for all these numbers if x occur on these numbers 
we can count out that okay this forms one uh, like valid uh, like sequence which is at all the three axes we don't want that uh, as you can see this will also form valid number so what you can easily do in this problem is you can easily find out how many numbers are there on each of these parities how many x's are there on each of these parities you can count out that 0 1 and 2 how many x's are there on the parity 0 as you can see this one this one this one and so on and similarly for like you cannot count this because there is no x on this parity but you will count on for this and for this so you can find out the parity like count of parities of x find out on all of these values and then how will that be helpful you can just take the minimum of that number that minimum number will tell you that okay see i know that all of these numbers like if i know the parity of these numbers as you can see these numbers will form the parity uh, like this will form conjugative x's if i just remove one of them only one of them then my board will become balanced so i should only remove the one which is the minimum of them because see i know all the values in this uh, like grid and if i just remove out the minimum of them then the other two will not form three consecutive values because i know that the three consecutive values should only form a valid like a sequence but we don't want that so we just only remove the one which is the smallest one among the all of these parities and thus in the end we will get the balance board so that's the logic and also this will happen in less than k by 3 moves so this is a valid like procedure to form like find the answer for this problem i'll take it out to the code part now to even make it more clear as you can see in this problem uh yeah this is the problem in which what you can do take the input of the string like because this is the form of a string you can take the input of like because there are n strings of length n so that's what i've taken the input of strings and then this is a to start out because there are three type of parity 0 1 and 2 uh, iterate over all the values the like the grid grid points and every value if s of i j is x means 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 that the i th like the i j point is x then what we'll do we'll increment that block parity with like plus plus by one so how we can find out the parity of that block i plus j divided mod 3 and then what we'll do we'll find out the minimum among all of these three blocks so i have now i have the three uh like i have three blocks and so we have to find out which box has the minimum value because uh, because every block like the zeroth parity value maybe have five five x's and we have to find out which of these parity value has the minimum x's so we're just finding out the minimum among all of them and then we'll again iterate over the whole board and what we'll do because in the end we have to print out the new board so when we find out that okay all the x's at the one parity we we should have to change them so what we'll do we'll iterate over the board again and whenever i find out that this is an x and the parity of that box is equal to the parity i have to change because i should only change the index or index means that i should change the parity of that number which has the minimum number of x's so that's what i'm doing we have stored that in in index and thus if any of the x's will again iterate over the board is equal to x and its parity like mod 3 is equal to the index which is the minimum number of x's we just make that number equal to uh, like we'll make that number equal to 0 uh, this is not actually like uh, a same thing you just have to do what you can do here is just uh, uh, maybe I can show you the code yeah so what you can easily do in this problem is just change this this to zero uh, actually i've done this but you just uh, uh, s of ij is equal to zero and thus return out all the whole matrix and that's the logic for this problem i hope you get the intuition for this problem i'll push the like put the d problem next and then if i understand the c2 problem i will also make a video on this because c1 problem is very simple uh, like uh, because you have to understand this logic and if i understand the c2 logic then i will also make a video on that but i will upload the problem for d also so stay tuned i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye